Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time from the bot lane. So I have a Lulu support, that's making me a little optimistic. The heal may need to get changed, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Going for Ignite. So the enemy team first picks Gangplank, we don't know if that's mid, top. It could be jungle, it's just been a few months since I've last seen that. Then they have Ez. So I'm thinking that if I ever did want to play Callista, this might be the one time it won't entirely suck. I'm gonna go for MF. Fortune doesn't favor fools. So I'm going to go for first item, Essence Reaver, that way I can have some more mana regen beyond just this little meditation amount. As for what all I take... Like, I don't even remember what her ratios are exactly, if she can even really use the AP. The thing is, with a Lulu... Ah, uh, should've known it was going to be a Fizz. So we'll see how well Kled does. Kled's tether will actually still hit him through troll pole, so we may have that going for us. Now the good news here is I can actually be faster than Xin Zhao, so I can actually outrun him if we get into a straight up type matchup. He has to either flash or something to reach me. And then yes, I do own Arcade Misfortune. I own one of her chromas, whichever one this one is. So that's a Nautilus support, by the way, so I do have to watch out for him dredgelining me at 6. The good news is, with Lulu, she can then, um... Damn, I forgot what her ult is called right now. Well, she can ult me, and that will potentially give me a small window to make a getaway. So I don't know if I ever actually played Miss Fortune on the channel since her rework. I've played her a little bit from time to time, it's just I wasn't really that impressed, and I never really liked the lethality build. It like it doesn't really make sense that it gives you that little amount of penetration, and you have to hit level six or level eighteen in order to actually get the promised amount. I don't know. So I should point out, since we have the Ignite, they have the Exhaust, we should be looking to try to kill Ez. Nautilus has no way to actually protect him, he has no shields to give Ez, but he does have a pretty sizable shield for himself. Fizz mid. Bad news is I believe he can troll pull the Syndra ult. So for Syndra to kill him, she has to. Or we have an Ari, never mind. So, like Ari can create some distance to get away from him. It's also kind of interesting. Ari is supposed to be getting nerfed in the next patch. Something about her Q. I don't know if it's the mana cost or if they're finally going to realize, hey, giving her movement speed on this ability is stupid. Let's remedy that. But anyway, if you notice, Kled and Lulu are pre-made. For the enemy team, the Ez and the Fizz are pre-made, so he's going to be coming down on me. I don't know if you can cleanse the fish with the QSS anymore. Because if you can, that would be my best lifesteal item. Keep in mind, the only real hard C uh, uh, CC they have is the Nautilus, of course. For GP, I just have to worry about him trying to blow me up late. And that MSI crap is still going on, apparently. Watch your mouth, kid, or you'll find yourself respawning at home. Step 
Now, Eve supposedly can take the chickens at level 1. It's just, I don't really know if that's a wise thing to do. That's pretty dangerous there, Eve. <laughs> You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. 30 seconds until minions spawn. In case someone face checks, we can try to blow him up. Sure you can handle me, summoner. Bye, Lulu. Uh okay, she warded it. I've got a minions have spawned. So I should also point out one of the reasons why I want to go for crit MF here is because it's Lulu. She can give me picks if she goes for the Art and Censure. She can then give me attack speed and a bonus on hit damage. Eve takes one hell of a beating during her clear, by the way. Luckily she did not use Smite there, so... Not a problem. Step two. So I want to hit them with my Q. focus fire, I'm definitely glad I have love tap at my disposal. I've gotten all CS up until this point. I'm gonna take W here so I can reposition and stuff. I was afraid I might have missed that one. that one. I missed one minion somewhere. I think Lulu may have taken it. So I'm going to miss some CS here since I decided to back up Lulu. I have seven stacks of fervor. That's a little heartbreaking. By the way, you can tell I'm running Bandit, by the way, by the three gold I get for every stray shot. Don't get 
so I'm going to step back a bit because I think Lulu wants to ward or something, or maybe she wants me to ward, I don't know. The thing is, I have squandered my CS lead against Ez. Gonna go back myself because I can pick up a BF sword and start bullying them harder. Bad news is Fizz has hit six, so he immediately assassinates the Ari. I'm also gonna grab this. I know what I'm doing. So keep in mind, as and I have the same base movement speed, it's just with my strut and my boots, I can get back faster than him. Well, we both have boots, it comes down to strut. So Lulu stayed a tad too long. So check that out. Well, we got his flash at least. But this is what I meant by Lulu stayed too long, she was down items, she could have actually gotten something that might have helped her live. Uh, it's not really a big deal. An enemy has been slain. Let's grab the Warhammer, because that way I can get my ult up more often. And what happened there? So keep in mind, Wind Dragon is one of those things Shin can actually use to keep up with me. Don't get cocky.
So Lulu is probably seen by Zen right now. Sure you can handle me, summoner. Yep, she got me killed. So I'm not really wasting anything here. Eh, this was largely Lulu. She has no business leaving a winning lane to basically throw the lane away to further feed their jungler. So this is probably going to fail. <laughs> I love having stupid supports. So yeah, she threw away the entire bot lane there. Okay, I was expecting a true shot barrage to come whizzing through there, but I guess not. So that one doesn't do as much damage because I didn't kill the minion. So right now I do have to worry about Shin coming down. So activating W for attack speed. Clun's doing pretty solid here. Like, my way to live here is I had to flash over the wall, but it's not happening. He... I don't know if he can pull this one off. Up oh, there was her final charge of Spirit Rush. Charm. Cue him. I'm also going to take a refillable at the moment. Not a problem. Downside though is GP has gotten a pretty free lane. Go mid. I think 
that's the end of Shin. Now I don't want to start anything until we have some reinforcements here. So one thing we probably should look into doing is taking the Herald. Oh I crud. Know what I'm doing. There's GP. Sure you can handle me, summoner. So I didn't see what all they burned on me, but Cled man, you <laughs> right. behind you. Paying W for attack speed. Shouldn't even need it. He used the true, uh, true shot barrage already, so we know it's down. The only way they could steal is with a gangplank ult, which he might not have either. So my ult was a little bit off, I wanted to deny him the ability to walk into the tower. Kled almost has ult. That's actually good enough for me. So we can push out the top lane now. So right now my objective is to get the rank 2 ult. Kinda of hoping that we'll go to the side. Oh. 
So we see Shin in the mid lane. I think he's fighting Kled. see Shin, so I don't want any part of this. Oh, he's dead, never mind. I didn't even see him go down. So anyway, to maximize my harass, I do want the rapid fire cannon next. And I want some protection against Fizz. I'd say that takes more priority than getting some um, armor penetration so I can actually hurt Nautilus. GP is busy down there, I'm just gonna push in down the mid. That's where their gold is, other than Shin. Flash to the other side, so I was a sitting duck for Ez. In case you're wondering, my final item is probably going to be the Infinity Edge. I can't really afford to get it earlier in this build. Now, like, normally I could go for it now, it's just because there's so much of a dive threat, Bloodthirster is higher priority. It's going to increase my survivability against both Shin and Fizz, that's why I'm not getting a Hex Drinker. If it were just like AP threats, like an Elise instead of a Shin, then yeah, I could. to ground GP because he could get help, he could get lucky. <laughs> so does this ener yeah it energizes faster.
So I want this. Like, I'm kind of hoping a good one will spawn, like an Earth Dragon or something. Because Earth Dragon with Rapid Fire Can is not really a bad thing. Let me get the potion sticking. Now, we know the GP ult is down. We do have to worry about the True Shot Barrage, however. another wind. That's not necessarily bad, by the way. So I don't have my ult, that's why I don't want to group as such. I want to push this out and just generate some more pressure, get some more of the ma um, gold off the map. That's what Red Smite does, folks. If the others are going, I'll go too, but I'm still pretty banged up. goes for me. So next up is either Penetration or the Infinity Edge. I'm not entirely sure which just yet. Now at this stage of the game, I would like to get the red buff. I know what I'm doing. Not a problem. Got him. Bot's a little... Eh, they're going top. Bot is closer, so that's why I wanted that one. Yoink. Damn it. They had no business going here. As soon as he drops the old step back, wait for it to fade out, and then come back. We just squandered our Baron. And unfortunately, if the Lulu is any indication, I can't really talk to these people either. 
Good news is there's no Baron on the field for them to take. And that's the final elemental coming up. So let's see, my love tap steal 204, uh, 273. And this doubles my attack speed. So remember Shin was doing very, very well. This is kind of what happens to him. What's worse is he's packing Thunderlords, which are like the worst of the keystones for him. You either go Fervor or Tanky. So I might be able to break 500 speed if we get this. Four ninety-seven. So yeah, that's how much of a fall off it's had so far. Too gung ho to dive towers here. <laughs> so I can get this and go up to 70. Uh, yeah, I think at this point I just need more crit. I did ult a little early so I couldn't hit Fizz with all of it. Pretty much, my ult is devastating in the jungle. So at this point I'm kinda tempted to just try to farm up for IE. Uh, she might be taking red. Well, it's an AD Eve, so I guess that's okay. Not a problem. Sucked. Fall back, we got a fizzle. Oh my god. They drag the fucking dredge, or not the dredge line, the depth charge right into me to deny my ult. Like, it's not a question of skill, build, or anything, it's just a question of stupidity. That's the third time, though. 
you guys are not learning, and now they get barren. <laughs> Like, at this point, we might be better off just trying to split push, because the team makes, at best, questionable decisions. So at this point, I'm thinking about just scrapping the whole penetration plan and going for a Guardian Angel. There we go, 503. I'm not entirely sure why it's that number. Thing is, I haven't built the new Guardian Angel, I can't say whether or not it's any good. Basically, I'm just hoping. Right now we need a turtle out there, Baron. can't afford to stay. But this is what I mean by they pick all these stupid fights. Wait out the Baron, but no, patience is a little too complicated. Bravo, guys. So they should have Shin here. Okay, they changed this since I last played AD Carry. So in case you're wondering, yes, I'd still very much describe this game as a massive throw on our part. It should not have been as close as it actually was. And at this point, Kled might be better off with red buff because I'm not going to get any peel, protection, what have you. Looks like they're not getting it.
So in reality, like, our win condition is almost passed entirely. Keep in mind, Elder Dragon will heal us here. Step back for me. Yep, I very much describe this as a game of throws. So if Ari could land her charm, that would be worth it, but I'd say popping Ez's GA actually was not that important. Enemies with greater health than you. That should be almost everyone. Because GP does have this to give him some health. He has this. Hell, Fizz even has this. So I'm not sure how they heal. For Shin, we can kind of just burst him down. It's... Like the GP and the Fizz I'm worried about. Fizz is showing bot. He has no teleport, so we could just fly out take it. I probably should look into stop taking minions because I'm at 300 CS. I'm essentially full build. Just falling back all the way over here. begins 
sure you can handle me, summoner? So I couldn't talk there near the end since you probably heard the dogs going crazy. But that was really rough at the end. Oh god, I'm in my series already. I wanted to draw this out longer to be perfectly honest with you guys. So S minus, this should have been a solid S, but the team started playing like ass. <laughs> so you can see I'm the gold leader, I'm also the kill leader. Once you hit late game, AD carries go into hyper mode. Sadly, not as much as like Cog or Trist or something. You can see Ez technically does have better stats than me, but I had a much bigger presence in literally everything. So, near the end, I just had to watch out for Fizz. You can see Ari actually dealt the most damage to her on our team, GP on the enemy team. Ez actually did more damage than me, but that's largely because of the throws. In terms of damage taken, Lulu took the least, go figure. Shin the most, more than Nautilus, of all things. Now, they added some new ones in here. Vision score, I figure I'd be near the bottom. Like, I don't even know how this is measured, if you have to destroy blast cones, or if it's actually just wards. Actually, it tells you right here, wards. I dropped 11. <laughs> so, still more than a lot of their team, which might explain a couple things. Control wards purchased me, the pink one at the very beginning, they didn't buy any. Kind of surprising for a top liner. So, um, Ardent Censure, I didn't actually look at this during game to see how much it actually gave me, but this was an additional source of healing, if you read here, it's just more attack speed. So once Fizz and Shin jump on me, I just have to basically kill them before they kill me. That's all it comes down to. But yeah, Misfortune, we got her box, I'm now in promos apparently, and we'll see how this plays out. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.